position do you need for specific properties? So the first thing is to calculate the page. That, for example, you need to calculate the composition of cordyrite. Cordyrite is basically Mg2Al4Si5OAD. Now you will need three things for this. The raw material you usually have is silica. Uh, I will start it from el alumina so that they come in proper order. Al2O3 MgO and SiO2. You need these three things. Raw materials are available in this shape. For this, the first thing is to know about that how much aluminum is there, how much silicon is there, and how much magnesium is there. The atomic weights of these elements, for example, aluminum is 26.98 the atomic weight of magnesium is 24.305 and the atomic weight of silicon, nut silica, uh, is 28.085. 28.085. Now, you have two times the atomic weight of magnesium, four times the atomic weight of aluminum, and five times the atomic weight of silicon. So what do you have in it? Four times aluminum, two times magnesium and five times silicon. Right? This four times aluminum gives you 107.928 I have already calculated this 48.928 one magnesium and 140 to a point four to five silicon. In this formula you have two atomic weights of aluminum uh, magnesium, four atomic weights of aluminum five atomic weights of silicon. Oxygen can also be there and oxygen is 15.39 and it is 18 times and it turns out to be 287.5 982 and when you add these in total you have 584945 so this is the total formula weight of this formula in which you have this much aluminum this much magnesium this much silicon and this much oxygen, right? But it is for 584.945, say, grams of that.
you are making 100 grams. For 100 grams, you calculate that for 100 grams, uh, for 100 gram means that if these are the amounts of various elements and this much, how much will be in 100 grams? So it will be for aluminum, it will be 107.928 grams or 584.945 into 100 for aluminum. It turns out to be, I have calculated this, and it is 18.45097. Similarly, for magnesium, it will be 48.61 into 100 over 584.945 which turns out to be 8.3101 Silicon, it will be 140.425 or 584.945 which comes out to be 24.4 So I am not saying the atomic weight of aluminum. Four times the atomic weight of aluminum is present in your formula. Similarly, two times the atomic weight of magnesium. So it is two times the atomic weight of magnesium. It is five times the atomic weight of silicon. Right? So that is why it is like this, but it is the elemental composition. Remember, this is the elemental composition and you don't have raw materials in the elemental form. What raw material do you have? They are in the form of alumina, Al2O3, magnesium, MgO, and silica, SiO2. Now, for magnesium, you need MgO. So, for 24, 0 0.305 grams of magnesium you need the formula weight of MgO then how much magnesium MgO you will need for this similarly for 107.924 hmm, no for 26.982 you need the formula weight of this 
Am I right? No, I am not right. Because this is a n and this is a n two. So two into a n two, two into a n two will become forty, fifty two, and fifty three point eight or something. We 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 will do it. So the formula weights uh, for these. Where I have written it. Yeah, the formula weights for these I have calculated. The formula weight for alumina is two times A L plus. Three times oxygen. Similarly, for MgO, one into Mg plus atomic weight of O. For silica, you have one into Si plus three. Add two into four, right? So in this way, you will get for alumina. Uh, I have I have put the value for alumina. Is it for twenty four for alumina? I have put it straight, so I uh, didn't calculate that. But for the case of aluminium, um, it will look like that. How much alumina you will need for this, right? So, what the equation will look like? The weight. Forty point 
थ्री जीरो फोर राइट ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस फिफ्टीन पॉइंट नाइन 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 इट गिवस यू फोर्टी पॉइंट थ्री जीरो फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हाउ मच मैग्नीशियम डू यू नीड फॉर मेकिंग हंड्रेड ग्राम ऑफ दैट देन हाउ मच मैग्नीशियम डू यू नीड टू गेट दिस मच मैग्नीशियम इन टू द मीटिंग सो वेन फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट थ्री जीरो फाइव we need 40 point that uh, or 40.304 then how much for this it will be 8.310183 which will be equal to i have calculated it and it turns out to be 13.78 13.78044 grams so for silicon you need for 28 point 085 grams of silicon you need the atomic weight of silicon plus two times oxygen which is 60.083 this is the formula weight of uh silicon silicon dioxide so it will be 60.083 60.083 so for this much silicon you need this much silicon how much do you need for 24. 00653 so 24.00653 which equals 51.35782 grams right now you have solved the issue then you have done it uh, for hundred you want to make 50 grams just divide all by 2 you need 25 grams divided by 4 you need 20 grams divide everyone by 5 and you have solved the issue this is the simplest and logical way which i could understand right there are many methods available softwares on computer and the internet and people use them but one should use the way he is convinced with right so simple again look at it you need cordyrite cordyrite composition is mg2al4si5o18 how much aluminum how much magnesium how much silicon is there i found this that aluminum was four times the atomic weight of this in this formula then magnesium was two times the atomic weight of magnesium and silicon was five times the atomic weight of silicon so i knew that if i want to make 584.945 grams of cordyrite then i need this if i have an elemental form if you don't have an elemental form then you should convert this into oxide forms the available forms but we are interested in 100 grams and lower amounts for laboratory usage so for this purpose 
once I knew that 584, uh, 584.945 grams, I need this much aluminum, this much magnesium, and this much silicon. Now, for atomic weight of aluminum, the raw material available with us is the atomic weight of aluminum multiplied by 2 plus 3 times the atomic weight of oxygen. This is the available material. So, for 26.982 multiplied by 2, I have Al2O3. Right? So, how much do I need for what I have got? What I need? Right? So, I will calculate this was the aluminum required for that equation when I was interested in 100 grams. Then, for 26.982 multiplied by 2, I need the formula weight of Al2O3. So how much I need for this much? So you calculate it, the required alumina is this much. Similarly, you calculate it, the required magnesium is this much. You calculate the required silica is this much. Alumina MgO and Si and this procedure when you just have the simple requirements are that you have a formula in your mind right write it then the atomic weights of each and every element present there and then the formula weights of the raw material available